everybody it's Christine with Coco Daisy and this video is all about our inserts so I'm going to introduce you if you are new uh, to Coco Daisy welcome if not if you've been with us a while but you still uh, would love to hear a little bit more about the inserts that we offer and how they can be used I hope you will um, watch through this video and get some ideas and learn more about our um, our booklets and our inserts and our product our product in general. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video simply because we offer so so many options when it comes to inserts and booklets, and there's so many different ways that you can use them. So I want to take the time to go through each one, to talk about each one, to talk about the intent. Um, and then also just the ways that you can think outside the box and use them. And then hopefully uh, you will find uh, one of the inserts will work best uh, for you and your system. Um, I'm showing you a variety. There's a number of these are from February, but you'll see in my examples, I'll show you some of the other months. Um, that's the, one of the uh, things I love about our products is that every month it's a different art, it's a different theme, it's a different color palette. Uh, so it's always changing, which is really, really nice. So we're gonna dig in and I'm gonna start with our ring bound inserts. So we have, we have three sizes of ring bound. So I'm gonna just kinda, like I said, gonna, we have a lot to go through, so bear with me. So the main three ring bound inserts we have, we have a personal size, a B6, and an A5. Now, if you go to the website, um, you can look up the exact dimensions for all of these. And we're going to have a printable, a free printable that you can download and print out and get an actual visual. You can look, you can measure it, you can put it in your binders or your planner covers and see if they'll fit and work for you. And so you can print out that printable and get those sizes in real life, which is I think will be really, really helpful as well. So if you go to our website, you'll be able to find that. And once we have it up, I will link it down below. So I'm not gonna go through and, and list out all of the sizes. We have all that information on the website, but uh, basically what your personal size, that's a standard in the industry. B6 is a standard as well as um, A5. It's just the standard A5, standard B6, standard personal size. And each of these, so the A5, you can get punched in a six hole punch, an unpunched or seven hole punch. The B6, you can get in a six hole or unpunched. And the personal you can get in a six hole or unpunched. So the only one that you can get in the in the seven hole would be the A5. And generally that's with uh, like a Franklin, Franklin Covey planner, I believe has a seven hole and then there's some off brands as well that have seven holes um, if you're concerned about if it will fit your ring system then i would get it unpunched and then just punch it yourself would probably be the safest bet for that now all three of these have similar layouts so let me show you those So there is a stripe page. So actually, I'm gonna lay them on top of each other. So you have the tab, and then you have um, the, the month, and then you have a stripe page. And then you have the same thing in the personal size, and then again, the same thing in the B6. So you can see how the, the artwork is just manipulated to fit that size, but it's basically the same the same thing. And so you have the stripe pages. We call these our weekly stripe pages. There's the week down the side. A lot of people will use this for meal planning. Um, they'll use it for a brain dump. They'll use it for gratitude. So anything small that you want to keep track of for the week, you could write in here. And then of course, there's enough of those 
for the whole month. And then we always have this side of the page. There's a real light colored dot grid on here. So you can always use the other side for more list taking. Then we have our weekly spread. And again, let me show you that on, here it is on the B6. Whoop. Put that there. So there's the B6. And then I'll show you on the planner. And then there's the planner size or the personal size. And a lot of people like to use this for their planning. They'll write out their whole uh, week's worth of planning on there. I use this section um, more for just kind of planning out my week, not my day to day so much, not like my big long daily list, but at least planning out my week, um, kind of blocking off certain times or appointments and so on. So that's what I use um, this weekly spread for. And again, there's enough of those. And you can see then that we have the grid for more note taking or anything like that that you need. And so there's enough of that for the entire month. And then there's a notes page and then the calendar. And again, you have the same thing. on the B6 or the personal. So it really just boils down to what size works for you. Do you need a, do you like a ring bound system? I personally do. I've always used an A5 ring bound. I, that is what works for me. That was the original kind of catalyst for me. Um, having inserts designed as I couldn't find anything that was pretty and functioned the way that I wanted it to. And then slowly on, we've added more and more sizes. So you can see the size difference. A lot of people like um, this, the smaller size personal and B6 because it's something they can tuck in their purse and take with them. I work from home. I don't need to take my planner with me. So again, the larger works better for me. My handwriting is generally big. Um, I couldn't fit all of my to-do list in a personal size. So it's just going to boil down to what works best for you and your lifestyle. But then that's why we have the three different sizes. So there's the calendar. And then this page right here is a plan forward page. So if you have dates, dentist appointment, doctor appointment, hair appointment, that kind of thing that you want to jot down to remember for upcoming months, you can um, jot those down in here and then just transfer over what you need to when you get your next month's set. And these are monthly. We send these out a month ahead. Um, usually people get them at least two to three weeks before, if the mail system is, let me caveat that with, if the mail system is working the way that it should, um, then you will get it in time to have two to three weeks before the next month starts. And then we go into the daily pages. Now the daily pages are not meant to be used as a front and back. That is not how these are set up. This is basically just a void page. Don't even look at that. They are meant to be used as a two page spread like this. And I'm gonna grab one of mine. So this is the January set that I'm using. And so you, what you can see that I've done here is I've added um, the day and then I've added a sticker for the date. I've stamped this little um, weather and then I've stamped in these headers and these headers actually this stamp set we've ha we have on order again. So I will get that in the store soon. So be watching for that if, if you missed out on that when we first had it. But if you notice these headers are blank so you can customize this to whatever is gonna work best for you, whatever you need to record on this side, whatever your to-do lists are, if you work hourly and you need a breakdown of the hours, that is something that you could do here. Um, if, you, if you have kids with sports, you could have a sports section here. However you wanna break this down, um, you can do that. And I break mine down, I have weather here. I leave this open for notes throughout the day. I have my little meal that uh, for dinner I jot down there. These are my, this is my schedule. So if I have timed appointments, I put that there, calls and emails. 
my absolute top must get done for the day go here and then the rest of my to-do list. So that's how I use mine. But so that, and then there's enough daily pages for the entire month. So let me show you how that looks in these smaller sizes. So you have the B6. And again, there's just a little bit less room. And then you have the personal and the personal has less sections strictly because again, there's just less room. So if you look at the difference, there's just two sections here as opposed to the four and it doesn't have the, the extra little take note section on the personal size. So that is personal B6 and A5. And again, I mentioned um, how you can get those punched. Now, if you're completely new to planning and you're like, okay, I love the A5. That's great. What do I put it in? Well, there's a couple different things that you can do with any of these, really. So you can purchase, <clears throat> and I'm not going to go through a long list of where you can purchase these. That's something that you can easily Google and look up, but uh, my favorite company for A5, because that's what I use, is Vanderspeck, because you can customize them. Um, but you can purchase a binder that has the rings that you can put um, your inserts in. So you just put those in. They're already punched. And you can go... I can... Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's brand new. So put those in. And there you have, so you, that's the A5, and then this binder is, or this planner is an A5. Um, some of the other, there's Webster's pages. I'm not sure if they're still making them. Uh, like I said, there's just a ton of them. So you want to Google Kiki K is a, a great one out of Australia, and so on. So you can get those um, there. So this is an A5. And then... So you can get them in A5 size. You can, I'm not 100% sure where you find B6, just because that's not one that I use very often. Um, you can get, a, I do have some personal size here, and this one's not punched, so I can't, oh it is. So I can put that in there. So you can do a personal size as well, so you can see how that looks. And again, this is a nice size to just be able to throw in your purse. And then I personally don't have any, um, as I mentioned, any of the B6. Some other options, you can buy some relatively inexpensive clear covers on, I think, Amazon. They do not have as large a rings, so you're not gonna be able to bulk up your planner as much, um, but the clear cover is kind of nice. That's something that you could get um, for the A5 as well. And then the other thing that you can do if you order any of these unpunched and you get some of the discs like this, you can actually punch it and do a disc system. So that's like what I've done here is you can use a disc system. Now what I'm showing you here, and this is something that I wanted to mention, we have in the store, we have a collection, it's in the Daisy store. So it's not in the past kits. It's not in the current kit section. It's actually in the Daisy store. And there is um, a collection called the Minimalist Collection. That is undated. So just to kind of throw this one in the mix, as I said, there's just so many options. If you want to keep it super simple, you want to be able to plan a few months at a time or really plan ahead, you can purchase most of these sizes. I think the only one we don't have is maybe the A6 Dory. Um, and you can get these, they're completely undated. They're super, super neutral, just mostly black and white. There's a little bit of blush tone in them, but they have the same setup as the other ones. So you have the stripe page, you have the weekly page. There is a calendar in here, undated. You have to add your own dates and so on. The plan forward and then the daily pages. So it's the same layout. It's just the calendar is undated and there's no reference to a month on any of these. 
So these, um, again, you get them the same setup as far as punch. You can get them um, in the Dory booklet, which I'll show you in a minute, and also in these three sizes. And the reason we have that is just for those people who do want a look that's super simple, super clean, um, your business, your business executives, that kind of thing where you don't want a lot of the, the foofy, beautiful, <laughs> I call it foofy, but it's beautiful. Um, you need it more simple, um, then you can get those. So we do have those in the store as well, but I wanted to share that with you because that's the example that I have here with um, the disc system. So there's a number of different things that you can do for the ring bound as to how you how you carry them, what you do with them, so on and so forth. So now I want to move on, put that down there. Before we move to the booklets, and because I mentioned the disc binding system, I wanted to move on and show you the other option we have, which is our classic vertical inserts. Now, the classic vertical inserts, these you can use, um, and again, you'll have to check the measurements on the website, but they would work in a Happy Planner, they would work in an Erin Condren type system, they would work in our Daisy Planner, which I'm gonna go through a little bit more in depth here after I get done with all of the booklets but you can use them in a daisy planner as well. Or you can do the same idea as with the other ones, you could bind them all with a disc system. So if you don't have a happy planner, if you wanna go just strictly just um, the Coco Daisy inserts, you could start these in a system with um, these discs. And the discs you can purchase in a bunch of different sizes. So you could start out with smaller size. As you add more and get a whole year's worth, you could build up to larger discs. And we do have some of these in the Daisy store as well. So this is, let me show you the February one and then I'll show you the, um, the minimalist collection one. But we have this every single month as well. So this is one of the options we offer. And um, so it, it doesn't have a tab, but it does have the same front. It has a note section, and then it has a, this beautiful calendar. And this only comes in this size. So these only come in this one size, and they only come unpunched. So there's no punching, you have to do that yourself um, however you want with whatever your system is. The reason we created this is a lot of people like the vertical planning system. Um, they don't like the, the horizontal setup that we have with a lot of the other things. They like that vertical system with the boxes. And so that's what we have here. And so you have enough for a whole month. So I can show you that. And then there's another note section on the back. And then what we have, and I started to tear this one just to show you, What's neat about these is they will, they're perforated. So you can store them in your planner as a half, like this, or like this, however you wanna do it. But there's notes you can take on each side or lists that you can make on each side. And then the fun thing is they're perforated, so then you can just tear them apart and take that list with you. And so you get enough for, I think we have five or six, three, four, there's six each month. So you have plenty of those as well. So that is the classic vertical inserts. So that's for those people who really like that setup. That is a vertical sort of planning setup. So that is our classic vertical insert. And again, um, you can do a disc bound, you could take them in and have them coil bound at an office center. I'm not 100% sure if there is a ring binder out there this size, possibly like a notebook maybe. I haven't played with that. I do know that the majority of people do use the disc binding system. You could always purchase just some larger jump rings if you wanted to do that too. And then here is the... Um, the minimalist collection, and again, all this is, is it has um, 
the black and white and then it has the um, it's undated so there's no dates in here whatsoever you can totally and you could buy a bunch of these ahead you could buy a set of six of these and you've got six months all ready to go you could bind them with the with the discs and you're good to go and then of course you've got this great um, list section too so that's just a look at that. So that is the classic vertical insert. And again, you can go to the website and get all of the measurements for all of these. Um, one of the things that I wanted to show you, actually because we just did the classic vertical insert, I'm, I wanna show you how I use those in my daisy planner. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually show you a little bit of the daisy planner right now. So when you get the daisy planner, it comes in this beautiful bag. And it is, it is, the ones that we have for this year are undated. So what's nice about that is if you purchase it, like let's say you purchase it now, you will still get six months out of it because there's six months in each one because you start when you wanna use it because we include, we include enough stickers in either black and white or color. You can pick how you wanna use them to um, to label these so you could start this whenever you wanted so you could start it with January um, if you wanted to catch up if you wanted to start it with February you could do that it's totally up to you and that's why we have them completely undated and that's why we include the stickers with them so you have a calendar on here and then you have your weekly spread and what's neat about this is you get the two options so you get the option of being able to plan vertically, and then if you wanted to do um, some other sort of journaling or art journaling or memory planning, you could do that. And one thing I wanna mention about our papers, our papers are an amazing quality. You can stamp on them, um, you can marker on them. There's very little, if any, bleed through. Um, it just depends on how intense or saturated your colors are that you're stamping with. But I stamp on mine with black all the time and I, I don't have an issue. And it holds the ink just beautifully. That's one of the things that we get comments on all the time. And these booklets, as well as all of our inserts, all of our papers are all made locally right here um, in Michigan. So that's another nice added bonus is that um, it's, it's a U.S. made product, which I really love. But if you wanted to plan vertically, you could do that. Um, and then if you wanted to use this, as I said, for some sort of um, journaling, art journaling, or memory planning. What I do, I do not, I use my daisy planner for the calendar, and then I use it strictly for memory keeping. I use this section for memory keeping. And I absolutely love this system because it's a picture a day. There's small pictures. I don't have to worry about taking the world's greatest pictures every day. I can snap a picture of whatever I want. It's going to be small, but I'm recording so much. And I was looking back at the one I have below here is from last year. I was looking back through it. And I'm like, this is so cool that I can look at all of the memories, like just daily memories, day to day, and all of these captured moments. And I was just like, so inspired to keep going with the system because I just, I just love it. And it's creative, it changes, you can, uh, because it's a completely neutral palette, you can dress it up however you want to do that. So I'm gonna show you an example of that. And because, um, another thing I wanted to mention, because these are completely undated, when we first did them, we dated them, and we did um, an initial release for the first six months, and then we did another release for the next six months. Um, they were a little bit more expensive, but because we ordered a whole year's worth, and we could because they're undated, we were able to actually drop the price point on these a little bit. So they're a little less expensive than what they were um, last year. And I was happy to pass those savings along and be able to do that um, an order in bulk like that. So I showed you those classic vertical inserts. So I take the calendar out of there and then I use that 
um, in mind. So I use the front page. So this is an example of September. So if I grab, grab February, because I'll be doing this. So I take this piece and I just glue it onto the tab. So yes, the tabs already have, um, they already have images on them and you can leave them, that's totally fine. I just really like to use each month's um, artwork because then I also have a representation of all the beautiful art that we've had through the year. So that's part of the reason that I do that as well. But if you don't wanna do that, you certainly do not have to. The dashboards have, um, so those are laminated, the tabs are laminated, but they do have artwork on each month. So you have each section. There's six sections in here, as you can see. So you could totally leave the artwork on there if you wanted to. That is totally up to you. This is just how I use it um, for my system. And I didn't show you the back, that's so cute. It's got the little Coco Daisy pen, love that. So anyway, so I take this page and you will have to, to fit the Daisy Planner, you'll have to cut down just at like maybe an eighth of an inch um, on, each, on each side just to kind of fit in there. Now, if you had an unpunched, because we sell that in a coil version or an unpunched, I have the coil version here, but you can get it unpunched if you wanna set it up with the disc version, you wouldn't need to um, cut it down and paste it in. You could just insert it in there um, and use it as a, another divider if you wanted to. But because I like the coil, I have to paste it onto the page, if that makes sense. And then I do the same thing with the calendar. So I cut that down just a smidge and I paste that in there. And again, if you buy the, if you buy the Daisy Planner unpunched, you can just insert whatever you want because you're using the, um, the disc system most likely. And then I wanna show you what I do as far as my memory planning. So I actually end up, just because I add a lot of bulk to mine, I actually end up cutting out these pages. And I'll just use them as scrap paper. Paper. I'll use them to test um, stamp designs, to test ideas. I don't throw them away. I save them and I use them for things, but I just take them directly out of um, my planner. So here's an example of how I use this for memory planning. And again, like I said, I'm not worried about the picture quality all that much. It's more just being able to capture that memory and, and put them in your planner. I date them. I add some of the artwork that goes with that month. I have to go back in and add my journaling. That's the one thing I'm really bad at is, uh, is adding my journaling as I go. So I'm a little behind, as you can see, because this is September. And then so there's some days that you forget to take a picture or you just didn't really have anything that you wanted to take a picture of. And then you can just add uh, some more artwork. You can add some more journaling, whatever you wanna do. And what I loved about the layout of this is that the Saturday and the Sunday are horizontal. So it breaks up and gives you the ability to make some uh, really fun things as far as design wise when you lay out your pictures on here. And you also have the option then of using, I've enlarged a couple pictures, but it gives you the option of using some horizontal pictures as well. And so you can see what I've done here. So it's just a simple, it's just a little picture a day it's some stamping, um, and you again, you can see where I've done the stamping, and it just holds that stamping so nice. I love this technique where you stamp in a gray and then stamp off and stamp and stamp and stamp, and it kind of gives the variations. Um, and then we have our little Lilu. So again, it's just, it's a great system for recording all of that stuff that you do and then it doesn't take that long. I mean, you can literally print out all of your photos, put them on here, add a little bit of stamping, a little bit of artwork. And some of these, like if you have die cuts, for instance, in the main planner kit that you don't know what to do with, they work great in, in here for memory keeping if you wanted to. And again, just a little bit more. So here's an example again of how to do that. And I didn't have, and 
a couple pictures here. So what I did is I just added one larger picture. Rub-ons work great on here. And then you can see for October, I did this again, same idea, and then you can keep um, going through. So I absolutely love, love, love this system for memory keeping. So this is, I like to do layouts as well, but to just kind of keep up on memory keeping and do it in a very fast, easy way, this is my go-to. I absolutely love it. So that's the Daisy Planner. And I'm using some of the, um, the classic vertical inserts in there. So, all right, we're gonna move on and I'm gonna talk about all of our booklets. So we have a bunch of them. And these are released just like the, um, just like the ring bound ones. These are released every month. And we have a lot of various sizes, again, that will be on the website and on a printable so you can see. I'm gonna give you the names that we use for them. And they're all basically a, what, we, what you would call a Dory booklet. Where does Dory come from? Well, booklets of this nature, originally this size, the standard, were um, called a Midori or a traveler's dory notebook. And so um, that was how most people used to recognize what they were. And so we kept the, the date, we named them Daisy Dory. So we added that in there so that people could, uh, when they did a search, they could understand what they were. So let's go through the sizes. I'm gonna show you the interior of these a little bit. So I'm just gonna say the sizes real quick and then we'll talk a little bit about each one. So we have an A5. We have a standard, we have another standard size, but this is the simple dory. This is the standard dory, this is simple dory. So you have A5 standard simple, B6, A6, personal, and the mini. So you have all of those different sizes. So let's take a look at these a little bit. So the A5 is the same size as our A5 pages. So why do people pick the booklets instead of the daily sizes. Well, one of the biggest reasons is they don't want to use a larger ring binder. They want to use um, this kind of a binder, which I'll show you some more of these in a minute. They want to use this sort of a binder. They can You can load more than one in there, and that's the setup they want to do. They don't want a bunch of the daily pages. It's more streamlined. Um, obviously, it's a lot thinner. And so that's the reason that you would lean toward more of, of a booklet style as opposed to a ring bound style. Um, so this is the A5. Now they're all, again, just like with the ring binding, the design for each one is basically the same. It's just reduced down um, to fit. The artwork is just reduced to fit whatever size the booklet is. So first of all, we have this beautiful craft outside and or cover, and there's a little embossed Coco Daisy on the bottom of them. Some people will, will take this off and they will just use this and not even have this on here. They just like it just plain like that. Some people will actually decorate their cover. So that's why you get papers and uh, die cuts and that sort of thing in the main planner kit is that you can then decorate that cover if you wanted to. You could wrap it with some of the pattern paper. You could punch out things from the pattern paper. You could use the die cuts. You could put a title on here. Um, so that's something else that you can do is you can actually decorate your cover. You can use some of the pattern papers that come in the kits to make um, pockets and so on, different things that you could add on the inside of this as well. So we're gonna open it up and we have a calendar page. And then we go to this section where you can just use this however you want. It's just a lined area. Then you go to this section. And I wonder if a lot of people realize that the way that this is broke down is it is a weekly spread. 
So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you have this little triangle here to break up this section for your weekend. Now, obviously you can fine tune this and use it and label it however you want, but that is the way the original intent of this was, was that this is, when you look at this, this is your weekly spread. So just like on the, um, the ring bound sections for our weekly sections in the ring bound, it's the same idea. It's just not labeled. You can add those labels or stickers yourselves. And we have tons and tons of stickers that you could use. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And there's enough of these sections for an entire month. So there's plenty of them for you to use for your whole month. So that's what those were intended for. And again, you can totally use this however you want. You can use this as a planner. You can use it as a form of art journaling. You can use it um, for just plain journaling. You could um, use sections of this for bullet journaling. So that's there's so many uses for this. It's, it's a bit of... Um, a blank, not blank because there's artwork on it, but it's blank in the fact that you can customize it however you want. Then we go into just some of these beautiful pages that you can use for menu planning, for any other kind of list taking that you want to do, any sort of gratitude journaling. Um, again, bullet journaling, you could section off parts of these for, uh, let's say you have different kids in different sports and you have dates or functions you have to go to or things you have to plan for. That's what these sections are for. You have another beautiful lined section. So that's what these are. Then we go into another section like in the front. This has the dot grid and you can... Um, do the same sort of thing. Now, what a lot of people will do is they'll use the regular grid section up in the front here for their planning, and then in the back here, they'll use this maybe for memory planning, um, for journaling, any sort of other thing that they want to record for that month. You could easily do the same sort of memory planning that I had in my Daisy Planner on a little bit of a smaller scale on this just as well. So you could do your regular planning in the front and you could have a little photograph and a little bit of journaling. You could totally do that in the back of this because again, you have enough sections for the entire month. So that's the basic layout of all of the booklets. The only exception will be the mini, which I'll show you, and the simple dory. Those are a little bit different, but the rest of the sizes are all basically set up the same exact way. And then you have the back page, which is usually just a beautiful quote and some artwork. So that is the A5 size. Here's the standard size. And the standard size has this beautiful embossed um, front that says start here with the arrow. This was the first one that we did, the first booklet that we did. And again, you have the calendar. And it is set up the same way, just scaled to fit this booklet. And I would say the standard size is probably the most common. So when I said we have a standard and we have a simple dory, now those are the same size. The difference is the simple dory booklet, and I'll go through this a little bit more um, in depth when I do the video about the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. But the simple dory is made much more geared much more toward art journaling or journaling as opposed to planning. Because if you notice, the sections in here are, um, are not set up the same way at all. But we did want to offer it as an option um, for you to buy as an insert, a standalone insert, if you wanted to. So you can just see that it has, it's much, um, much less structured. So there's pattern papers, there's lines, there's grids, and so on. I use this one um, for another form of memory keeping, but some people will journal in here and some people will even do some planning or bullet journaling in these as well. So that is the simple dory, okay? And I do want to mention all of these inserts can be purchased separately 
or they can be purchased with the main planner get, kit. You get the option of either or. You can purchase it with the main planner kit or um, on their own. Then we go to the B6, and the B6 is the same idea. It has the calendar, and then it has those sections. Again, same artwork, set up basically the same way, as you can see. And then I'm gonna show you the personal, and I should mention the A5, the B6, and the personal are the same size, same dimensions as our ring-bound A5, B6, and personal. So there's the personal again. with um, the same same sections and so on. Then we have an A6, which is a little bit smaller. And again, it just depends on how much you need to plan. How busy are your days? How do you how in depth do you need to fine tune your to-do list? I have to go with the A5 ring bound because I need two sheets for my daily section. I write everything down that I have to do. It's the only way I can keep my mind uncluttered and I can stay focused. Other people, all they need to do is write in appointments and they're good. And that, it, so again, it just, that's why we offer so many options is it just depends on whatever is gonna work for you. Now the mini, the mini does not, simply because it's so tiny, not so tiny, but because it's a mini, um, it does not have all of the sections. So it only has two sections. So you would have to kind of break this down um, how you would see fit. Maybe you wouldn't have, maybe you do it two per day and not have the weekend on there. Um, it just depends on how you want to do it um, as far as how you want to break that down. Or you could you could do like one per day. It just depends on how you want to use that. The mini for me, and it doesn't have a calendar as well because it would just be too tiny. So we just opted to put the striped page on there. I keep a mini in my purse just for notes or lists or things that, um, you know, when I'm sitting somewhere at an appointment with the kids or something, and I wanna jot down some notes, I love having my mini with me. It's super handy, it's, it's small, you can just tuck that into your purse and go. So I always have a mini um, with me and just use it as a great little, little notebook, which again, any of these you could do just as a notebook to, to take with you to, you know, if, if there's a particular month, you absolutely love the artwork, grab a mini or grab a personal and just use it to throw in your purse to keep for for notes. It's a great way to do that. One of the so now now we're going to think outside the box a little bit, and I'm going to show you some ideas on how to um, on how to use these a little bit. So that aren't the conventional ways that I just explained to you. And I also want to show you some of the the covers that we that are out there, just like I did with the ring binding. So. This uh, polka dot one is actually one of ours. We have this in the store and this fits a standard. So you can take a standard or a simple, either or will fit in here. And you can, so you can see that it has the polka dots on the inside. It's got the cute little, um, the cute little pockets and the little window there. It's got a pen holder. Um, it's got more pockets in the back here and it's got four strings. So what you do is you find the middle of your booklet and you loop that through and then you put that in there. And so the nice thing is, is you can get up to four booklets in there if you wanted to. So that's what um, you would use if you wanted to have a binder or a cover for these. Now, the other thing that you can do, so, well, wait a minute, before I show you the other thing you can do. So that's a standard size. Um, we have, there are personal size. I don't have a personal size. There is um, this mini size. I do have an example of a mini size, which is like this. And this is from Webster's Pages. And it's got the cute little pockets and stuff. So that is a personal size. You might even be able to fit, yeah, you could actually fit an A6 in here as well. So that's an example of a smaller little binder like that. Other thing you can do 
We sometimes in our kits have these cute little notepad holders. So this was from the My Escape collection. And it's intended to be a little notepad holder. So you would slide your notepad in there. But a mini will fit in here. Some people will actually retrofit this and they'll punch holes and um, put the elastic through there. You can buy the elastic. And so you can string it through like I showed you the other ones. What I do is I leave my little notepad in there. I'll just take the front cover, slide it in the pocket and do that. And so now I have my little, the little notepad as well as the little notebook. So our notepad holder will work with a mini. So that's kind of a fun little thing as well. And this was actually from the My Escape collection. One of the other things that you can do, obviously you could cut it apart. So you would take the staples out and cut it down the middle. So all of the pages are then loose. Then you can use the disc system for that, or you can use it in a ring binding. So you can do that as well. So you could use it as a ring bound or a disc bound. If, you ha if you're having trouble, or if you like the ring bound system, but you like this layout, cut it apart. I mean, you don't, think outside the box. You don't have to use these exactly the way that they're intended. Customize it to fit your needs. So you can just cut that down the middle and punch holes in it, and now you have it in a ring bound system or in a disc system. I, a lot of times, will actually take the A5 or the standard, and I will cut it up. Oh, I took my, let's see, here's, a, here's a, another standard. This is Winter Twilight. So what I will do sometimes, I will cut this apart. I'll discard the cover. And then I'll take a bunch of the pages um, that have the sections and the grid and stuff like that because I know maybe that month I'm gonna be making a lot of lists. And I had this for, um, we, actually with this one for Christmas, I knew I wanted to make a bunch more lists. I knew I was going to need to, um, you know, presents, menus, all of that stuff. And so I cut it apart and I cut them as individual pages. I punch them and I put them in my ring bound planner along with my regular pages just so I had those extra pieces for list taking. Yes, we have a notepad and that's wonderful, but sometimes you need a lot of space for long lists and it's nice to be able to do that. So sometimes I will grab one of these with um, and use it with my A5. So you can mix and match the sizes and use them together. There's nothing says that you can't do that. And that's what I, again, what I love about these is think out, think of your needs and how you wanna use them. And I also encourage you, if you're new to Coco Daisy and you have a particular question like, well, how do I do this or how do I use that? If you go to our, um, our Planner Fans, our Coco Daisy Planner Fans Facebook page, we have a wonderful group of people that are so happy to help, um, especially newbies or especially if you're stuck or you're in a rut, they can, you can say, hey, I, I love the A5. Uh, booklet, but it's a little wide, or I'm not sure how to use these certain pages, or they'll tell, they'll give you ideas. They'll share what they've done and what works for them. Or, you know, how, what do I do with, with that center page? What's a good way to use that? And you'll get so many great responses. People love to help and they love to share their, their creativity. So make sure you do that. Um, it's just a great resource. Also, always check out our blog. Our design team is always sharing amazing ideas as well. So I have one last um, insert to share with you. And it is in the store. This is something that does not change. We just have these in stock. Actually, I'm going to move these out of the way. And it is called our Daisy Weeks. So this is set up similar to the size of a Hobonichi Weeks, but it's in, a, um, in one of our booklet forms, has the black cover, and it's three months at a time. So there's three months in here at a time. And again, it's our beautiful paper, wonderful, wonderful paper quality. And this is great for bullet journaling. Um, it's just totally set up. There's no dates on here 
completely neutral. You can customize this however you want. We do have um, sticker sets that will work with the um, with this particular one, and it's our Daisy Weeks and our Calendar Weeks. Those two sticker sets will work perfectly um, in this booklet. So you can check out the sticker sets on the website as well. So you have a calendar, and then you have what would basically be weekly sections for one month. And then you go to another calendar, and then it's repeated, and you have up to three. So there's three months in here at a time. And so that is called the Daisy Weeks booklet. And we have those in the store. So if you're interested in that kind of a setup, we offer that as well. The other thing we have in the store is we have a week's uh, cover. So this is designed to fit our Daisy Weeks. And we have these in the store as well. And it's the same idea. You just thread that through and you're good to go. This would possibly work. Let me grab a personal size. Because the personal is a little bit different than the weeks. You can see it's just a little bit wider and a little bit shorter. But these covers, now that I'm looking at it, would actually work with the personal size as well. So if you're looking for a cover for your personal size booklet, we have these in the store and you can use them. But they will also work for the, um, the Daisy Weeks. And what's nice is there you could buy three of these booklets or two of these booklets. No, four. Sorry. There's three months. I'm thinking of the Daisy Planner. There's three months at a time, so you would want to buy four. And there's four strings. You could get a whole year's worth in here. And you could do all of your four. If you do a lot of planning ahead, that would be a good system for that. So that is the Daisy Weeks. So that is everything. That is all of the inserts we have. I probably have not even touched on everything. Like I said, there's just so much and there's so many different ways that you can use these. Um, I mean, there's just, again, there's just there's so many great ideas. But I hope that has, if you're new to Coco Daisy, as I said, I hope that that helps clear up a little bit about um, the sizes and the uses and um, just kind of the intent behind behind them as well so and as i said in the comments i will make sure and link up to the sizing chart and the printable so you can um, you can download that and you can get a real good visual of how big they are and what is going to work best for you hi everybody it's christine with coco daisy and i want to say thank you for spending a few minutes with me to learn more about our kits and the product that we offer and all of the different options. I love being able to offer you a wide variety of items for your creative lifestyle. Things that I love to use and, and that we love to create and share and inspire with. And I'm just thrilled to be able to offer all of those options. And hopefully this video has helped you kind of understand a little bit more what's going on with this kit or these inserts and, and help you um, know how to apply that to your creative lifestyle and your creative endeavors. And I also wanted to take a moment to mention that I'm very, very proud to say that a lot of our product is made right here in the good old USA and in Canada. All of our papers, our inserts, our daisy planner, um, and our booklets, those are all made, actually they're made locally right here in Michigan. And our stamps are made in the USA and our stickers are produced in Canada. So that's just something else that I wanted to mention that I'm very proud of that we get to offer to you as well. So again, I hope you found this useful and we will talk to you soon.